The Redmi Note 9 Pro Max is the new top of the line phone in the lineup. The back display as well as the cameras are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5. P2i splash resistance is also present. The display is 6.67 inches across and has a resolution of 2400 by 1080. It's an LCD panel with a pinch hole for the selfie camera in the center, but the refresh rate is only 60Hz. The power button doubles as the fingerprint scanner. On the inside, the Note 9 Pro Max is powered by the new Snapdragon 720G chipset, which is a 8nm processor. It comes with two variations, 6GB of RAM plus 64GB of storage or 8GB of RAM with 128GB of internal storage. The GPU is also powerful enough to play PUBG on high graphical settings, plus the combination of 8nm chipset and the massive 5020mAh battery makes the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max an ideal smartphone for extended PUBG gaming sessions. The other big change comes with the cameras as the Redmi Note 9 Pro Max has a new quad camera arrangement consisting of a 64MP primary camera, followed by an 8MP ultra-wide shooter, a bigger 5MP macro lens and a 2MP depth sensor for portraits. The front camera uses a 32MP sensor. Raw image capture is also possible now. The device can also record 4K videos at 30fps and super slow-mo videos at 960fps. Xiaomi also includes a super detailed pro mode in the camera app which works even in video mode. It also works with the ultra wide angle sensor and the macro camera. This pro mode is far better than what you get in some other more expensive flagship smartphones. Pictures are sharp, detailed and color accuracy is very good. Overall this is a great camera phone. The battery is rated at 5020 mAh and also supports 33 watt fast charging over USB type support which will take the phone from 0 to 50% in under 30 minutes. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro smartphone was launched in September 2019. The phone comes with a 6.53 inch LCD touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It is powered by a MediaTek Helio G90T processor. It comes with 8 GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Redmi Note 8 Pro on the rear packs quad camera setup consisting of a 64MP main shooter and a 8MP ultra wide lens and a 2MP dedicated macro lens along with 5MP depth sensor. There is a 20MP camera on the front for selfies. This device is based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 128GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via microSD card up to 256GB. It is powered by a 4500 mAh battery with 18W fast charging support. It was launched in black, red, blue and white colors. The Redmi Note 9 Pro is a bulky phone. The front and rear of the Redmi Note 9 Pro are both made using Gorilla Glass 5, while the frame is polycarbonate. The most distinctive feature on the front is of course the new embedded selfie camera which is centered at the top of the screen. Xiaomi has done well in terms of design and the Redmi Note 9 Pro does feel fresh without actually changing too much for a phone in this segment. There's the usual USB Type-C port, 3.5mm audio socket and a speaker on the bottom. You get a 6.67 inch full HD plus screen which has a tall aspect ratio to accommodate the front camera. It might surprise many fans who follow current trends because it is a standard 60Hz panel and doesn't have a 90Hz refresh rate like some other recently launched devices. This device comes with a Snapdragon 720G chipset. You can get the Redmi Note 9 Pro with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage or with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The Redmi Note 9 Pro is more than powerful enough to handle anything from basic calls and messaging all the way up to heavy 3D gaming and with no trouble whatsoever. The squared off camera bump on the rear might also surprise some Redmi Note series fans. It is a quad camera setup, the primary shooter has a 48MP resolution with 1.79 aperture. Next to it you will find an 8MP wide angle camera which is a pretty standard for this price level. The 2MP depth sensor in the lower row is also basic. What is interesting is the fact that the macro camera has a 5MP resolution. This device comes with an improved night mode, super face detection autofocus and a color profile optimized for Indian users. Video can be recorded at 4K 30fps or 1080p at 60fps. 720p slow-mo recording goes up to 960fps. One of this phone's primary target audience is video content creators 
especially TikTok users. So there's a short video mode with a 15 second cutoff. The front camera has a 16 megapixel resolution. With daytime photos, we found the primary camera to be reasonably good, close ups look good, and details were clear in foreground subjects. The 5 megapixel macro camera does deliver much higher quality shots than we have seen from most other macro cameras. The front camera is fairly good in daytime as well as at night. As for the battery, it comes with 5020 mAh capacity with 18 watt fast charging support. The Redmi Note 7 is an affordable mid-range handset that serves up some flagship features. It is an outstanding device for its asking price. The Redmi Note 7 Pro has a 6.3-inch LTPS display with full HD Plus resolution. The display is extremely crisp and sharp, contrast and dynamic range are pretty good. The colors are punchy without being oversaturated. With the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor combined with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, the Redmi Note 7 sports mid-range power. The Redmi Note 7's dual rear snapper has a 48 megapixel 1.8 aperture primary camera and a 5 megapixel 2.4 aperture depth sensor module, matched with face detection autofocus. As for the 13 megapixel 2.2 aperture selfie camera, daytime shots look good, although dynamic range struggles with backlit scenes. Video is recorded at up to full HD resolution and captures a superb level of detail, especially in good light. The Redmi Note 7 is an excellent all-rounder. It offers superb value with its solid build, great screen, smooth UI and impressive camera and battery life. Xiaomi Mi A3 smartphone was launched in 7th July 2019. The phone comes with a 6.08-inch touchscreen display with an aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It is powered by a 2 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 processor. It comes with 4 GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Xiaomi Mi A3 on the rear packs a 48 megapixel primary camera with an 1.79 aperture and a second 8 megapixel camera with an 2.2 aperture. And there is also a third 2 megapixel camera. The rear camera setup has autofocus. There is also a 32 megapixel camera on the front for selfies with a 2.0 aperture. This device is based on Android 9.0 and packs 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via microSD card up to 256 GB. It is powered by a 4030 mAh battery and supports Quick Charge 3.0 fast charging.